Dizzy. It's the doobie nigga, doobie aka Sugar Wolf, and I'm I'm in the building with the Dizzler.com live and direct. <laughs> The neighborhood, the crest. FBI been on that neighborhood since, you know, the the bank robbery shit. So, <clears throat> you know, shit that motherfuckers was doing, you know, me, myself, you know, I thought I was pretty much under the radar, you know, until the, the hammer came. You know, and once I really got my paperwork, I seen that. You know, nah, you've been the topic of discussion for a while. You know, from, you know, it was, it was shit in our paperwork from the uh, FBI relaying information on what was going on with me when Dre got killed. You know, that whole investigation with the feds, they was going back to, you know, and then when I'm reading, you know, it's dudes from the hood, you know what I'm saying? That they didn't picked up. Doobie do this, doobie do that, all of this shit. So when I got the paperwork, you know, it was bigger than what it really was. It was bigger than Miami. Miami was just what they really was using to try to get to other dudes, you know what I'm saying? Based on some part of the circle that was getting told on, you know, through people in the street so you know the case really was they trying to get to other dudes through miami it's in the paperwork like miami will not take us to his upstream dealers and such and such and such and such really if you know miami miami not you can let you meet nobody because you're not finna cut him out of no money <laughs> you know what i'm saying so i mean the, the real deal thing about that, that 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 case it is what it is you know what i mean I, I was guilty. I was doing what I was doing, you know, and it really was, you know, you know this shit come with it. You know, when I stopped playing football and jumped full-fledged into this game and shit, you know what come, to this, come with this shit. So, I mean, when my number got called, it was like, man, you just gotta go sit down and take your lick like a man. You know what you was doing, you made that bed, you gotta lay in it. So, I mean, that kind of gave me acceptance and not feeling like this Miami fault. It wasn't nobody's fault, you know. It came with the game. You was playing it. That's how the ball bounced and, you know, roll with it, move with it, you know. So, I mean, it wasn't no big thing. I, I, I looked at it as really a blessing because based on seeing what was information that was given about me, had I not got caught up in that case, the information they had on me, by the time they caught up with me, it might have been worse than that. So I take that eight and keep moving. You know what I'm saying? That that eight, I, uh, eight years since really let me know that you wasn't no, you you thought you was uh, below the radar. Nah, you was on one of them goddamn boards with the yarn and all the shit. Yeah, you was one of them. Like you was thinking you was low key and shit, bro. They was on you. You know what I'm saying? So I mean, it was a learning experience. You know, but you know, you live and you learn. If you don't learn from it, then it was a dumb mistake. When Dre got killed, the original show that we was out there for was a Friday night show. And dudes was supposed to go back Saturday. So on Saturday, it was decided that I guess the Friday night show didn't make enough money or whatever, so the promoter was trying to do something else for Sunday. I didn't get paid for Friday, you know, but, you know, I had other shit going on, so I really wasn't tripping on that. It was just, okay, this other shit they talking about Sunday, I'm not going to that. I'm doing this other shit that I'm doing. So, when they left, last time I seen Mac Dre, you know what I mean, was, uh, when he left to go to the Sunday night show. And he was like, Cuddy, why you ain't going? And I'm like, you really wanna know why I ain't going? I took him to my room. I'm like, that's why I ain't going. 
You know what I'm saying? He showed him what I had going on. He like, oh, man, I might need to get into what you're doing, right? But um, he, he, uh, he said, let me use your stunners. So I gave him my glasses and he left me one of the hats. He like, huh, take my hat. I'm gonna bring your stunners back. So when the whole shit went down, after the first show, they switched the rooms to be closer to the second venue. So I'm like, the dudes I fuck with out here, they know that I'm in this room. I pay for my own room. I'm not going to no other room. I'm staying here. So the dudes that took them, got them other rooms, being that the van got shot up when they left that room, the driver ran back, climbed out the little ravine shit, ran back to the hotel and told them. So they called me, they like, Suge, man, the driver saying this, woo the woo woo get your dudes that you fuck with out here and come down here to get us and shit. So when I get down there, you know, like, we don't even feel safe in our rooms. So when I get down there to get them and I pull up to the scene with one of my partners driving, the uh, police come and they like, are you here for Andre? And I'm like, Bitch, how you know his name? You know? And she like, yeah, he's gone. And I'm like, gone to the hospital? She like, no, he's gone. He died. And I'm like, how? She like, well, right now we don't know if he died from being ejected from the van or from um, a gunshot wound. Now, what it, the, the order that it happened, when she, I had that conversation with her when she telling me about the gunshot. My phone ring. That's the cut. He's like, man, we don't, we don't even feel safe in this room, man. How your dudes come get us? So I'm like, all right, I'm coming right now. I got to go. That was in our paperwork. Norton got a call at the time, and he, was, he, he, he immediately left, and such and such says they played that call off like I got threatened. Since I got on Backwoods, I've been a diehard Backwood. Like, it ain't been no, I smoke Backwoods and, I smoke Backwoods and this, and Swishers, or and Vegas, or and nothing else. I smoke Backwoods. My weed career, that's on pause right now. Once I got to Backwoods, it was Backwoods or nothing. Miami brought the first pack of Backwoods to the crest. Miami was, at the time, Call herself Elegante. Went to the Super Bowl in Miami. Came back named Miami. And when he came back, we used to play uh, we used to play Madden at Irma House and smoke while we was playing. So when he come in there, he got the rest of a backwood pack. I think it was like maybe four, four to six left. And he was like, Lil Mage, huh? That's what they smoking in Miami. He threw the pack to me. And me and uh, OG Cat, A-Rap, we split the pack. And the first back was I still was splitting them with a razor. I didn't even know how to roll them. I learned how to roll a backwood on accident. My blunt accidentally unraveled. And I'm thinking the back wood fucked up. This dog, oh, man, I done messed it. And the more it unraveled, I'm like, oh, okay, this how you really supposed to roll it. So once I learned how to roll them, it was like, you know, Lil Cuddy's, I be, you know, They'd be cutting school talking about, sure, can you roll out blunt? You know what I'm saying? Late night, dudes got their weed, come to the block, I'm like, man, huh, roll this, man. You only wouldn't know how to roll them. And then dudes started learning how to roll them, and they took off. I remember the first time, uh, first time I gave Mac Dre a backwood. He, he was out, had to, he was in the Impala. We went to a Vallejo Hogan game, and we was parked, and he was like, uh, Man, Cuddy, we should have got some weed before we came down. I'm like, I got some weed. I put a weed out. He grabbed a box of Swishers, threw them to me, like, huh, roll up. I'm like, nigga, we don't smoke them no more. You feel me? He fresh out. We don't smoke them no more. What you talking about? But we smoked these. Put them backwards out. He was like, what the fuck is that? From then on, backwards. Backwards is nothing. But I mean, the, uh, and, and my favorite backwood, I don't even fuck with nobody say, was grape. 
I don't know why they stopped making grape backwoods. Grape backwoods had the most flavor out of any backwood that they had. You know, right now I'm still stuck on honeyberry. And since I can't smoke weed, I smoke the death out of plain backwood. Holding in like it got weed in it. I be imagining hard as I can. <laughs> For real. <laughs> Cuddy be looking at me like, no, you not. I be like, yes, I am. <laughs> I'm imagining high power faking, holding in, getting every kind of float, buzz, whatever that come with it. I got sons in them youngsters. You know what I'm saying? So the, the, the little betcha gang dudes, you know, that, that's my little, my son, them, you know, that's they little thing, mage, betcha, major Norton stop them. You know, that's my oldest son, and Armani Majors Norton, that's my youngest son. The SOB, you know, Slimmy B, that's my, my cousin's son. So, I mean, that, that's all family. My, uh, my other little cousin, Vail Betcher, he upcoming, you know. I mean, you know, they, they, they coming out the crest with me, and all of them, any of them, you know, I'm going to be in their ear about something like, you know, if I see you moving and it's solid, boy, keep doing that. But you know, you supposed to learn, every generation supposed to learn from the last generation slips. So any mistakes that we made, Mac Dre made, or any of our era, you shouldn't make that. Now maybe if you didn't know about it, okay, that's what, something where I could tell you. From the outside looking in, you might didn't know this, but look, don't do this from the inside out. Don't, don't, don't do that. Make sure you on top of this. You know what I'm saying? If you get a contract or whatever, take it to a lawyer. You don't know nothing about what you really read. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of that type of shit, you know, learn from my experience, you know? Don't, don't let the thugging hold your, your, your art back. You know what I'm saying? You know, it really like, you know, I, I was one of the biggest obstacles to myself. So, you know, some of them, you know, if this what you really going to do and you really want to rap, you know what I'm saying? Don't be an obstacle to yourself by still trying to just, I mean, you a hood nigga, you're going to be a hood nigga regardless. But it take, you know, it, it's, it's a time when if you're a professional hood nigga, then you need to be on professional shit. You know what I'm saying? If you out here still on this front line street shit, then you on some amateur shit, you know? If you're gonna be professional, nigga, get behind the scenes on that. If you still, I mean, if you just gotta be in it, they don't have your ass out there, they gonna tell on you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna tell, you know, I tell them what it is, you know? And the same thing my, all our mamas told us in our generation. You know, my mama and them talked about my friends like a motherfucker. Them same niggas is going to throw dope down in your car. Them same niggas going to tell on you. No, nah, mama, my friends ain't going to tell on me. My friend ain't like that. And there was one of my friends that told on me. You know, so that yeah, was a hard pill to swallow. You know, so I mean, I, I, I stay in their ear. The ones that I talk to, I ain't really got a chance. Like I say, with the halfway house shit, the movement, you know, I might could call a dude, but I really can't too much call some of the young dudes and really be on them because I ain't out there really to see what, you, what you've been doing or how you've been moving. You know, I might see some YouTube videos or something or I might hear, you know, word of mouth through the streets or this and that. Now, if somebody get at me on some word of mouth, you out there running ass backwards, then, you know, I make that call and tell you, like, bro, you know, tighten up. You feel me? Or, you know, shit. It's connected. Same way it used to be with me. You know, when I was young, if I was out there out of pocket, somebody gonna be in the car, my daddy. My daddy gonna be at me and I'm gonna be looking at him, how the fuck you even know about what you talking about, man? Somebody told you. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, it's family. As far as them, but a lot of the uh, other uh, young dudes rapping, I mean, shit. I ain't gonna act funny with no, you know. I'm open to anybody wanna holler at me about anything or help or whatever, you know. 
I ain't gonna call a show to you, but just my own, I'm gonna make sure about them.